Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this triangle ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this side uh, AC is uh, 50 units, this side length uh, BC is uh, 80 units and moreover this angle ABC is X whereas uh, this angle BAC is uh, 2 times X and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we can see. We know that this angle is X whereas this angle is 2 times X. So therefore we are going to be creative and we are going to draw this uh, auxiliary line CD as you can see over here such that uh, this angle is uh, X. So therefore we can conclude that this uh, triangle BCD is an isosceles triangle since uh, these two angles are congruent. So therefore this side length BD is going to be equal to this side length CD. And now let's recall this exterior angle theorem. Exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see that this uh, angle C is our uh, exterior angle whereas these angles A and B are our opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, C equals to A plus B. So therefore for this triangle BCD this angle is our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles X and X. So X and X is going to make uh, 2 times uh, X. And now we can see that this uh, triangle ADC is an isosceles uh, triangle as well since uh, this angle equals to this angle. So therefore this side length CD is going to be equal to this side length AC. So these two side lengths are equal in length. And now we can see that these three side lengths AC, CD and BD are equal in length. And we know that this length is 50. So therefore this length has got to be 50 and this length is 50 units uh, as well. And now in this next step I have dropped a perpendicular CE from point C onto this line AD. Now let me go over this uh, isosceles triangle pretty quick uh, since these two side lengths are equal and this uh, CD is our perpendicular median then uh, these two side lengths AD and BD are equal in length. If this side is X, this side has got to be X as well. So therefore in our case this side length AE and this side length ED are equal. If I call this length X, this has got to be X as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle AEC. Let me go ahead and label this uh, CE length uh, as our height uh, H and since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and label this uh, longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, x so this is going to become x square b is h so h square equal to c is 50 so this is going to become 50 square so therefore this equation is going to become x square plus h square equals to 2500. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another right triangle uh, BEC. Let's focus on this uh, whole uh, side length uh, EB that is going to be equal to the sum of uh, X and uh, 50. So that is going to become uh, X plus uh, 50. Now since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle once again, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. 
And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and represent this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. In our case, uh, a is uh, x plus uh, 50 whole uh, square. b in our case is h. So this is h square equal to 80 square since c is 80 and now let's recall this famous identity i'm going to apply it uh, over here so that's going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 100x uh, plus uh, 2500 and then plus uh, h square equal to on the right hand side this is going to become uh, 64 now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. I'm going to put uh, x square and h square together. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have put uh, these uh, x square and h square together and the rest are exactly same. And now we can see from this uh, equation 1, uh, h square plus x square equal to 2500. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, x square plus h square by 2500. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, x square plus h square by 2500. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms 2500. 2500 is going to give us uh, 5000. Now let's go ahead and subtract 5000 from both sides. This is gone. So we got uh, 100x uh, equals to 1400 on the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 100. This is uh, gone. So therefore, our x value turns out to be simply 14 units. And now since we figured out our x value as 14, so therefore I'm going to replace this x by 14 and this x by 14 units uh, as well so therefore this uh, total length uh, a b is going to be sum of 14 14 and 15 if we add them that is going to give us uh, 78 uh, units so therefore our a b length turns out to be 78 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, equation one and here i have copied it down and now we know our x value is 14 so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this x by 14 over here. So therefore, I'm going to substitute 14 whole square plus h square equal to 2500. 14 square is 196 plus h square equals to 2500. And now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 196 from both sides. This is gone. So our h square turns out to be 2304. Let's undo this square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides. This square and square root is gone. So our h value turns out to be positive 48 since our height h is positive. So thus our height h turns out to be 48 uh, units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, our base AB is uh, 78 and our height uh, h is uh, 48. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this triangle is going to be a half times our base is 78 and our height is 48. And if we simplify everything, our area is going to be 1872 square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 1872 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.